god. I can't remember if the battery is like dying at this point. What the hell? Yeah. Alright. So that is the ending. The standard ending of Dragon Quest VIII. God, this game took a long time to complete. But I did it. And I did it in a pretty timely manner, in my opinion. Uh, I thought it would take me a complete year to do this, but apparently not. Um, yeah, so yeah, as you can see, yeah, you got the infamous monsters uh, named after most of the uh, producers of this game, which is pretty cool. So let's watch the credits roll. I had a lot of fun doing this game. And honestly, the No Alchemy run is kind of a moot uh, challenge. I just really wanted to play this game in general. I didn't really care if uh, I want to do a challenge or not. I mean, using the Alchemy pot obviously would have uh, made it way easier for me to beat because you can get all kinds of insane, disgustingly powerful upgrades, which is, you know, that's the use of the alchemy pot. Uh, but what I'm going to do, well, I'll make my plans after I do my review of this game. Dragon Quest VIII was the reason why I got a PS2. I, didn't, I, I never even wanted to buy a PS2 because, to be quite honest, after uh, Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X II, uh, after being legitimately disappointed by those two games, I didn't like them at all. I, I thought they were really bad compared to uh, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, especially 9. I, I honestly thought for the debut of Final Fantasy being on PS2, I thought Final Fantasy X would be a lot better. And it wasn't. Which sucked. So, yeah. Um, and then 10 2, I just didn't want, don't even want to go there. I, Barely, I played it for like not even a few, uh, for not even a few hours before I just returned it. It was back when you could rent video games, back in the Stone Age. So, I didn't really care about getting a PS2. And then I heard that this was going to come out. But before I heard about this coming out, I heard about Final Fantasy XII coming out. And apparently, uh... The guy with the same last name as me was Marcello's voice actor. That's that's pretty creepy. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so I'm like, okay, Final Fantasy XII, great, good reason for me to get PS2. Uh, and the demo of Final Fantasy XII came with, I think it was a demo pack with this game and Final Fantasy XII. No, 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 uh, this was a demo on its own. And I think it was a demo pack, and I played it and on my buddy's PS2, and I'm like, okay, I'm buying a PS2 and I'm buying this game. Uh, so it's one of the reasons why I bought a PS2. The the the, graphic, the graphics are phenomenal for cell shading. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna talk about graphics any more than I need to. The, sh the cell shading is beautiful. The Overworld map. The overworld is is beautiful. The dungeon design is really nice. It's not repetitive, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, the voice acting is much improved from Final Fantasy uh, X and X2. Uh, not perfect yet. They perfect it, in my opinion, in Final Fantasy XII. But it's a vast improvement from Final Fantasy X. Um, the story and the plot, what more can you ask for? You have tons of, you have storyline, you have different than Dragon Quest uh, 1 through 7, which is just explore the world, beat the bad guy. Uh, you actually have some depth with the characters, and you get to know them. Uh, um, Angelo and Jessica especially. Uh, Yang is, you know, it's just governor's pal, but, you know, Angelo, you really feel for the guy. Same with uh, Marcello. And even Charmels, uh, and spe especially Jessica too. So uh, I'm not. I'm, the story is amazing. 
Uh, yeah, there's, there's a little plot hole in the end, of course, with Rollo. I don't know how Rollo survived being in, uh, Purgatory Island, but whatever. You know, I'm not gonna care about that. And, uh, you know, the, the whole thing where you're chasing down to Omegas, yeah, it does have a little bit of a goose chase, but it's a goose chase that, unlike Final Fantasy VII, you know, you, th you get really close, and then you just, and then you just lose it all. So, it gives you that son of a bitch must pay mentality also with, uh, with Dual Megas slash rap form. It's been so, a long yeah. journey. A lot has happened along the way, and it's all worked out well in the end. Yeah. Old obligations matter not one jot. Mm. For passes, is being able to live a full and happy life. Nice. You should decide for yourself. Do you wish to marry? I hope I should. Take as long as you need. I think her mind's already set. I, don't know. I think her heart's already set. Easy to be to find someone. How would you jilt it up, please? That. Very the. Look, we're home. Home for good. Oh, she's gonna marry the, uh, captain of the, uh, Royal Guard. It's just as good. Captain of the Royal Guard gets himself some princess. Love it. Anyways, uh, so I hope all of you enjoyed Dragon Quest VIII, No Alchemy Run, as much as I've had making it. I'm gonna use these last few minutes to do a little bit of an update, as well as a little theory, um, about this game. Uh, I guess I'll do the... I'll do the update first. Uh, first of all, yeah, if you save after the game ends, uh, it accesses the post-game content, which obviously I'm going to be doing. Don't know why I have two saves here. We'll just do this one. I'm probably going to play through the entire game uh, using the alchemy pot. This way I can get all the best stuff before the game ends because uh, that would be better. But, yeah, so. yeah, and it activates this uh, secret cave here. So, yeah. My little theory about this game is that it comes out is that in the Dragon Quest timeline, if there is a Dragon Quest timeline, I honestly believe that this game is first in the timeline, and, you know, maybe the Erdrick ones are second. Uh, it's just my opinion, um, because I really do think that, you know, you have all these, yeah, you, know, you have the Sages, you have Ramia, and all this stuff like that, you know, all the things that, you know, they pay homage to. I honestly think that it's either in the distant future or the very first thing. Oh, uh, it's just my opinion, I don't know. I mean, but, yeah, I don't know. Eh. Take with that what you want, whatever. Um, so, as you all know, the month of May has ended. And I still have a little bit of bonus content from Chrono Trigger and from Final Fantasy VII that I want to do. Um, Final Fantasy VII... The bonus content in that game is going to take me a long time to perfect and finish. So I do not know when I'll be able to do that. Uh, what I might do is maybe uh, do a little stuff off screen and record uh, a little bit of the post game content just randomly and whatever. With Chrono Trigger, the only thing I really need to do is just do that. Lost Sanctum, whatever the hell that thing is. Uh, and it's just a bunch of side quests. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a ROM hack of Chrono Trigger, which I'm going to be playing. Uh, I'm not going to play it now, I'm probably going to play it when 2014 starts. Um, but it's really cool, and I'm definitely going to do it. I may even play it in the fall, I really don't know. Uh, but as of now, because I've beaten Dragon Quest VIII, I'm going to be doing the post-game content, but I'm not going to record it 
as aggressively. I'm going to probably uh, record it every two days, knocking there, uh, thereby knocking Dragon Quest Eight down to uh, down to what do you call it? Uh, second string status when it comes to playing games, because there's a game that I wanted to play three years ago that I didn't really. T I didn't test run it too much, and I kind of uh, stopped midway because I wanted to do some other projects, but I'm going to be returning to it after three years of ignoring it, and that game is Saga Frontier. Uh, I'm really excited for playing Saga Frontier, and I've been meaning to play it for a long time, and I've been wanting to save it for the summer because it's a game where, I mean... For some reason, I just get a sentimental feeling about it when I play it during the summer. So that's going to be my newest series starting in June, which is tomorrow. I'm going to upload the uh, endings of the finale of Dragon Quest VIII uh, today and June 1st. And then starting June 2nd, I'm going to go right into Saga Frontier. And then every two days, starting on June 3rd, I'm going to be doing... Dragon Quest 8 post game content. So that's my plan. And then randomly, well, I'll do some Chrono Trigger and randomly I'll do some Final Fantasy 7 post game content for both of those games. So, got a lot of stuff on my plate for the summer. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to finish uh, off uh, Dragon Quest 8 in its entirety uh, but before July begins because I'm going to be doing some more second string. Uh, Let's play videos when July begins. So, yeah, those are my plans. Uh, hope you like them. And stay tuned for the post game content of Dragon Quest VIII. And stay tuned for Cyber Frontier. You guys are going to love it. It's going to blow your minds. It's going to be amazing. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.